It's a beautiful sunny day. The wisteria flowers are blooming. The cherry blossoms are beginning to drop their petals and the pansies just got a good soaking from the sprinkler system in the garden. I have always loved photographing water drops on plants or spider webs and the best time of day to do that is early in the morning. If it's a sunny day, it's ideal to take the photos in shady areas. The highlights in the water drops will still be quite intense, but you can work to try and minimize them by changing the position of your lens. I take a little time and pay attention to how the drops interact with the light. Not every grouping of water drops is suitable for a photograph. The drops themselves might be beautiful, but perhaps the composition in the frame isn't quite right. Once you do find a good set, the results are captivating. I have tried capturing water drops like these with my big camera, but I struggle to depict them in the same way. There is so much more of the background in view because with my 100mm lens, I can't get quite as close as I would like. Of course, there are ways you can manage to do that with extension tubes, a different lens or a larger subject, but it's so convenient and fun for me to use my phone and little macro lens attached. With flower petals, especially ones as delicate and fine as pansies with all that character in their curves, you can get many different compositions and looks with just a few flowers. But it is also helpful to angle the lens at water drops that sit in a line on the edge of a petal. This gives definition to the water drops, but also the way the light shines through the drops gives more visual interest than looking at a drop where you can only see through to the petal behind it. There are countless opportunities. You can play with refraction and reflections from the drops and bokeh in the background, or try various compositions with the shapes of the petals and depth of field. If I ever get a close-up of the center of a pansy, I like to find one with unique qualities like this one. One petal is curving inward towards the center of the flower. I also angle the lens so you have a view of the flower that is not straight on.
I've had a wonderful time with these. Thank you all so much for watching and for the lovely comments on every video. Have fun out there with your camera and I'll see you next time.